Hey guys, it's Steve here from stevepicketmusic.com and uh, this is a new video series I'm going to be doing reviewing uh, guitar books, books and uh, resources that I think are really really excellent and helpful uh, for your guitar playing and some of them are fun, some of them are educational and um, well you'll see there's quite a lot of things on the list and we're going to work through them um, book by book. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is uh, well, it's two books by an author called Louis Belson. These are the books. Uh, the first one is called Modern Reading Text in 4-4 by Louis Belson. And the second one is Odd Time Reading Text. Right. These books, what they have in them, it's a collection of rhythms. There's no pitch. just tons and tons of rhythms. Louis Belson here has systemized syncopation. So he works progressively, systematically, through um, beginning with eighth note uh, syncopated rhythms, um, and then going into ties, um, going into dotted notes, going into sixteenth notes, uh, you know, semiquavers if, if you're you know, a British person watching this, and you know, rests, and he starts to include triplets, starts to mash it all up. And what you get is a, a kind of journey through rhythm. Uh, what I used to do when I was studying uh, music uh, a long time ago, or recently a long time ago, I would take this with my guitar bag and whenever I had to go to a rehearsal or a gig or to class or whatever the case was, I had to go on the bus or the train or you know take public transport, I would leave this open on my on my lap as I was on the train and I would tap my foot in 4-4, four, four, whatever the, the, the signature was, and I would there you go, I've just read the first two bars of page 39 if, you want to... <laughs> if you're interested, and I would just tap like that and if there were lots of people on there on the bus and I'd tap really, really quietly so no one could hear me and I would sort of progress, work through these for oh, two or three years I probably used these books um, in that kind of a way, just working my rhythm it's really great for a few different things for your reading, if you want to read, there are three components to reading. Rhythm, pitch, and note recognition on your instrument. You need to be able to read the rhythm of the, of the music, uh, get the right pitch, from, this is from the stave itself. You need to be able to decode those things, and then you need to be able to find those notes on your instrument. So there are three different kind of skills when it comes to reading. This really zones in on the rhythmic aspect, which a lot of people find the hardest, because it's it's the most changeable. There are so many rhythmic permutations, whereas there are only so many notes on the stave. So it's, it's great for that. It really strengthens your sight reading. What, it, what also it does, it helps you sort of view rhythms um, uh, differently. We all have natural leanings towards certain rhythms. Some of us feel uh, certain rhythmic combinations more strongly. And you can tell when someone's got a limited sort of natural feel for syncopated rhythms because they only use a certain small number of rhythms in their improvisations. And they, 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 they can only really sight read certain rhythms confidently and others they get confused by the combination. So this is good because it's systematic. It will help you identify those weaker areas, um, those weaker areas of the bar, those weaker rhythmic combinations that you're not really familiar with and it'll get you sort of up to speed and, and get you to feel those in your body. Which is really great for your reading because you can then recognize different combinations of rhythms more naturally and those things will show up in your improvisation. You'll have different rhythmic combinations will become available to you as you kind of like get shaken up out of your patterns. So it's pretty cool. All right, it's a bit of a geeky one, um, but I'm a bit of a guitar geek, a bit of a music geek, so I like that kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> But I really recommend it. They're quite cheap. You can pick them up on Amazon and lots of other places. Um, I strongly recommend getting some and either playing through it, strumming through it is good. It's sort of a funky feeling. You can you know, play it swing, you can play it straight, or clapping through it, tapping through it, clicking through it, whatever you want to do. Um, so that's Modern Reading in Text in 4-4 by Louis Belson and Odd Time Reading Text by Louis Belson. And believe me, this stuff gets hard when you get later, later on in the book. Um, as they say, that escalated quickly, and this escalates quickly. I don't know if you can see these pages here, but it gets, it gets serious pretty fast. So there's lots and lots of stuff here. 
that will help you. Um, and you know, no matter what level I think you're at, you can really get a lot out of these books. And I still love them and use them to this day. Like and comment if you if you like this this new video series I'm planning to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.